Introducing the Open Palm Podcast, hosted by Jerome Shaw. Available today on your favorite podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor.fm, and many more. The Open Palm Podcast, where the host engages his listeners with inspirational messages, motivating themes, and thought-provoking ideas. Topics include make more mistakes, how much is your value, don't get right, get going, learning to let go, excellence is a habit, and more. Binge listen today. Subscribe today. It's getting excellent ratings. That's the Open Palm Podcast, hosted by Jerome Shaw. You can also find it on YouTube. Make sure you share it with your social networks and connect on Twitter and Instagram at Jerome Shaw. That's the Open Palm Podcast with Jerome Shaw. Available today on your favorite podcasting platforms. Go listen, download, and subscribe now. I recently received a message from a friend. Now, this was a friend from an old boarding school that I was sent to at a young age in Calhoun, Tennessee. And this man found me on Facebook and recognized, you know, we're both friends on here, but we hadn't really spoken to each other. But he had been looking at my content and had been wondering things to himself. And he sent me a message wanting to speak to me and ask me some questions. Because he said that he felt like he wasn't in a good place, you know, mentally, emotionally. That he just didn't understand how to be happy or at peace. And he said that aside from me and some other people who had been following in his life that he feels are just genuinely happy and have a good spirit, that he doesn't have that. And that he, he didn't understand how we could both come from a background, from a group home, and thought that maybe I had made better decisions. But how we had both come from the same place and that we were both in different states of mind and how he wished that he could be in a state of mind like me. He told me that he didn't understand, that he was depressed, that he was hurting, and that he just couldn't escape from the depression and the hurt. And so, I had to tell him, you know, that can be really tough. So many things can factor into mind state. But when we were on a call together, he talked to me about things and I just pinpointed three things that I thought I would bring to you, my friend. Because these are lessons that I wish I had learned early on. The first one is about comparison. The second is about environment. And the third is about expectation. When it comes to comparison, comparison can be the thief of all joy. You know, to dream of the life you wish you had is to waste the one you have. To dream of the person you wish to be is to waste the life you have, to waste the person you are, right? You know, we can compare our year one to somebody's year 20 when it comes to success or when it comes to mind state and happiness. We see their glory, but we don't know their story. We don't know the things that they had to change in their mind just to be able to get to where they are. And in the case of my friend, what he saw on the outside wasn't necessarily all that had gone on in the inside. It was a reflection, it was a bringing out, it was a culmination of things that had been worked on the inside. But he was seeing the fruits of my labor. He didn't see when I planted the seeds. What he didn't realize was that I, just like him, 
would be asking people, what makes you so happy? Why are you smiling? What gives you that smile? Where does it come from? How can I be happy like you? I too asked these people these questions and wondered what was the source of people's happiness. So comparison can be the thief of all joy. We do ourselves a disservice when we compare ourselves to others. You know, it's unfair to us because we live totally different lives. We see the world through a totally different perspective. So how can we say that this person is happy and I am not, so there must be something wrong with me? Another thing is, he said that he was in a poor environment mentally. He was in a, just a negative space and he was unable to excel in this environment. And I had to tell him that, you know, in my experience, <laughs> when you're in an, an environment that's not conducive to your creative capabilities, that's not, that's not giving you what you need, that's not putting you on the path to purpose, when you're in the wrong environment, it's very tough to remain positive. Very, very difficult. It can be done. It can be done, but it's very difficult very hard and oftentimes life has a way of removing you from that environment whether you like it or not <laughs> if you're in the wrong environment for your path on your journey and you don't remove yourself life has a way of doing it for you that's what happened to me on several occasions, actually. So, it's very easy to remain positive in the right environment. It's hard in a negative environment. The other one is expectation. Our expectations can often create suffering. The things that we expect to happen, the way that we expect life should be, can create suffering. We can often, you know, sort of <laughs> shoot ourselves in the foot, as it were, when we expect life to be a certain way and it turns out that it's not that way. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always funny sometimes when I can reflect back on choices, decisions that I've made, because they weren't mistakes, right? They were just choices. But I know that the ways in which I thought life would play out always eluded me. And life has definitely not turned out how I thought it would. But if I held on to my beliefs or my expectations of the way that I believe things should be, I think I would suffer a whole lot more than I have. It was in the letting go that allowed me to find peace. The letting go that allowed me to find true happiness, which I told him, you can only find that within, within yourself. Happiness is an inside job. Peace is an inside job. And no amount of outside substances or anything that we find on the outside can give us what we can have on the inside. So I hope you are listening, my friend, and I pray that this message reaches you at a time when you need it. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you, and pay this forward, pass this on to someone who needs to hear it, someone else who is learning and growing and striving to become greater than they are today. Maybe someone who has been in a poor environment, has had expectations, has suffered greatly, 
and has been comparing their lives to others. Many have asked how they can support the podcast. You can support it by becoming a supporter, opening your browser to anchor.fm slash jshaw. Supporting it there is much appreciated. This podcast also has a Facebook group, which you can find by clicking the link in the show notes of this episode. Be blessed. Be wonderful. Have an awesome, prosperous, and productive day. Take care. Hey there, my friend. So you've heard about Anchor, but do you know why it's the easiest way to make a podcast? Well, first off, it's free. It allows you to use creation tools that let you record your podcast right from your phone or computer. It also distributes your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more platforms. You can even make money from your podcast with minimum listenership. It's everything you need in one place. Download the free Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. Can't wait to hear yours. Let's see what you have to offer the world.